Jesus. How are you guys? Very good. How are you? Nice to meet you finally. Nice good to meet you too. Can't believe we haven't crossed paths. Good to see you again, Kevin. Thank you. All right, so you guys get this script. You read through it. You learn the story. Did you know anything about this? Before? I did not. No. So you read the story. You learn the story. What are your first thoughts? Well, I, I got to tell you, uh, first thoughts I thought was that um, Jim would have a really hard role. He's got the most thankless part in the movie of, of, of how w how he comes off. You know, these people trying to get to the top, and he's in some way the the guy keeping it down. So I look, I thought to myself, you know, boy, we're both supporting parts in this, and I, I, that's one of the first things I thought. That's really a hard part to do. Will be a hard part to do. And my part, I was not going to do the movie because it didn't feel like it had been flushed out and it seemed pretty inconsistent and, and halfway through the conversation with Ted he said stop it is inconsistent it was based on three different men um, schizophrenic you know <laughs> yeah your character yeah right, it right. was and you know and I don't mind playing schizophrenic as long as the, the movie ha somehow supports that right. idea that it works and and uh, he said he'd work on it, and we both had people say things to us that they will do, and then somehow in the throes of work that doesn't quite get through the cracks and just make the best of it. But Ted was a really a true He's partner. Wonderful. He was hey, wonderful. Hey, Jim, what, why is the story you think important to tell? I think, uh, number one, because it's, there are some tremendous accomplishments by people who were not recognized until now. But more importantly, or equally importantly, is that we're talking about uh, African-American females and in this line of work I think both minorities and women are underrepresented uh, and people need a reminder that especially young girls that get involved you can you can do this I think that it's always been true and it still hasn't changed completely that there's a certain given idea that women don't do some of these things um, but specifically to this story, the fact that this happened and this, these histories were buried for as long as they were, you know, that was my biggest reaction when I read it. I couldn't believe it. I ran to Wikipedia as soon as I read it because I thought this reads like fiction. I have to bring up Houston, Texas. You're the prime. You're at a commercial for our city right now. Am I? Do, yeah, you are. It's for you. you. Better know about it. Do you? I know you've been to Houston. We've talked about that a couple of times. How proud are you to represent our, our city? I love Houston. I love Houston very much. I'm still a major Rockets fan, and uh, all my family is still in Houston, and um, and I loved living in Texas. I, I will happily live in Texas again someday. Do you miss Whataburger? Oh, more than you know. You know, I think in and outs lovely and all. There's really no comparison. <laughs> I, I was Side Creek, by the way. I grew up in the Klein District. I was, in you, yeah, Klein Oak. Klein Oak. yeah, Side yeah. Creek. Texas, you can still kind of go through a drive through and get alcohol, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. I know. Can well, you? At, in the outer skirts, with your shotgun in the back. If they keep the paper <laughs> on the straw, yeah. you know, then it's legal. I know. <laughs> no wonder you want to go back. Well, come on.